Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Monsters Monster Review video. So, in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Monster Body. So, this mythic monster is a Thunder Cosmic Mythic, and you can get it from the um, Legends Pass, the current Legends Pass. Uh, you have to purchase exclusive Legends Pass to get this monster, of course. And this was given to me by Soldier Boy to review it for you guys. So, thanks to them. I'm going to be reviewing this monster up to level 150, rank 5. Yes, I'm not sure if anyone has a rank 5 yet, but I'm one of the few right now uh, that actually got it. So, we're gonna go on and hatch it. Finish this. Please give me 3 room slots. Ah, oh, okay, you know what? It's fine, it's fine. It's better than uh, having both locked, you know what I mean? The past two monsters that I reviewed, I've gotten 3 room slots open, which uh, I've been really happy about. But anyways, man, that design is pretty interesting. Uh, attacker? Mm, I don't know. We're about to find out. Alright, so, uh, evolving traits, you have true vision, that's actually a pretty good trait to have, energize, 20% extra stamina, okay, stamina leak, applies stamina leak to all enemies at the start of the battle, so to status caster, yeah, in the beginning of the battle, um, he's just gonna apply that stamina leak right away, so this monster will be very, or quite nice, um, against Steam Wrath, the race monster. If you haven't seen my review on Steam Wrath, make sure to check it out. It was a banger, okay? Anyways, let's go ahead and quickly get this monster to level 100. We're gonna check out the stats and everything, the skills, and then, yeah. All right, so here we go. Um, 7,392 power, okay, that's decent. Uh, 69,971 life. That is low, That that's not good. That life is not good. This life right here? This is not good. Um, anyways, 5,896 speed. Okay, that's actually a pretty good speed. Yeah, that's a, that's a great speed. But life, man. That life. Alright, anyways. So, let's go ahead and check out the skills. Um, polyphase, polyphase system. Deals low ton of damage to all enemies. That activates all cooldown all enemies. Oh, that's awesome. That's actually awesome. Uh, removes all negative... Or, sorry. Removes 100% of stamina from one enemy. Gives one extra turn. Ooh, okay. Let's see what else we have. Single phase AC. Deals moderate ton of damage to all enemies. Or sorry, sorry, to one enemy. Activates cooldown and stamina leak to that enemy. Okay, so it's a single target, uh, stamina leak, and CDA. Cool. Let's see what else we have. Another 100% stamina removal, but why would you need two of them? You know what I mean? You already have one. And uh, if you're going to run a monster that uh, is going to, for example, um, deactivate all the cooldowns, next turn you can go ahead and use that skill again. For example, Lindworm. Anyways, overhead conductors removes all like removes 50% of stamina from all enemies, applies shock to all enemies. It's an AoE shock. Okay, this monster is actually quite good against um, Steam Wrath. Yes, this monster could actually counter Steam Wrath because of the AoE shock. Not just that, but also the stamina leak in the beginning of the battle, and basically just removing stamina altogether with the one of. Uh, her skills? Is it a she? I think it's a she. It looks like a she. Okay. I hope it's a she. Um, anyways, let's see what else we have. Uh, unstable system. Deals a low ton of damage to all enemies. Applies shock and stamina leak to all enemies. Okay. It's an AoE stamina leak with shock. You know what? That's actually not that bad. That is not so bad. But I still prefer the overhead conductors. Because you're removing 50% of um, stamina from all enemies. One second. Let me see the relics. <laughs> Okay, all right, all right. Now we're talking. Give it a pump seed staff. Now we're talking. So give a pump seed staff with this 50% um, AOE stamina removal. You can basically remove 50% here, and your um, pump seed staff will remove the rest of the stamina. You know what I mean? This is actually quite good. All right. Um, but anyways, I think that's pretty much it. And this one right here is a 50% stamina removal, and it does some damage, right? And it's zero cooldown. So if you want to run it, you can. This is an AOE stamina leak skill i don't think anyone would like to run this but if you want to go ahead and do so um but these four skills are what i like to run so if you want to run these as well just like me go ahead and do so um brownout this is the ultimate it deals massive ton of damage to all enemies applies shock to all enemies activates cooldown all enemies it's actually pretty nice um ultimate that's actually pretty cool but anyways um overall i like the fact that there's true vision so you'll be removing that 50 percent um, of sound from everyone applying that shock for sure Unless the monster is trait disabled, you can also hit them with CDA fully. Um, not just that, but also removing stamina, getting the extra turn. So it's actually pretty good. 
um, altogether. But I just don't like the life, man. The life is pretty low. Anyways, relics. I recommend running from seed staff. If you have any other um, staffs that would that will drain stamina, uh, that will actually come in handy. Okay, uh, that'll be very useful for this monster. Another thing you can run is an SN. So if you have a revival SN, for example, this one right here, I can go ahead and uh, equip it and voila. <laughs> All right. So these two relics, and uh, sure, we're gonna go ahead and do that as well. Let's give this monster the runes that. He needs or she needs um so three speed three speed is what you want to give this monster you can also do two speed and the other one will be a speed but you can do a mutant rune where you'll give the monster life so for example what i'm gonna do here real quick is swap this with uh let's just go with that for example and then i'm gonna go back to this mythic oh oh there we go okay um, and give this monster that level 9 rune. Where is it? The mutant rune. Yep, okay. So mutant and life, that will actually help him out a bit. Um, so the thing is, even if the monster ends up dying, you still have uh, the revival essence that will bring her back. Bring her back. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and quickly rank it up to rank 3. So that um, she can actually compete against the players that go up against in PvP. So let's go. Level 130. So this is 110 for those of you that want to see the stats. There it is. And many players will of course get it to 130 for sure because if you purchase the exclusive pass, you get a guaranteed level 100 and or just rank 3 basically. And then you can level it up to 130 there. Uh, these are the stats for rank 2. And then finally, rank 3. Alright. So I really like the, um, the true vision now. Stamina League, that will come in handy as well, especially if you're going up against Steam Wrath. Unfortunately, I can't find any Steam Wraths now on PvP because no one really has it except me in armor. Um, and maybe even in Mikvel. I'm not sure about Mikvel. But anyways, uh, these are the stats at rank 3. So you get about 12,348 power, 129k life, and 8,204 speed. What I can run is probably an attacker. So for example, Hardy. I do own Hardy, so why not? We're going to go ahead and... Um, run him so i'm gonna give you this laser beam sword i'll give you waltz's mask as well and we're ready all right except that i do want to give this monster a relic as well before we enter a battle all right so i have a tank i have my attacker and i have my um a denier there all right so she takes the first turn right great speed love it 137, 130, and 137. Unfortunately, the thing is, I this monster does not have any um, positive effect removal skills. So if I wanted to quickly remove the Megasons here, I couldn't. I can't really do it, which kind of sucks, to be honest. I'll just go ahead and remove 100% stamina, get the extra turn. No. No. Uh... I'll just charge up. My favorite trick, you're gonna hit me with C CDA, yep. Okay, that kinda sucks. I'm gonna have to charge up on these other two monsters real quick. You want to put that skill, you recharged. I'm gonna charge up, you're gonna recharge as well. Now that it's this monster's turn, I could use, for example, uh, Punch of the Char, or Shark King, whatever it was called. Was his mask kicks in. What else could I do here, let me see. This monster, oh man. So yeah, two turns, you have to wait two turns apparently. If you're gonna run the skills that I'm running. Unfortunately, CDA could stop this monster, unless you're running. Um, the zero cooldown skills as well. Alright, um, I found this base right here, although it is a mythic base. Here's the thing though, now that I think about it. The overhead conductors doesn't really work with Pum Staff. You wanna know why? Okay, let's put this into a test. Move 50% of stamina, and then you want the monster to, uh, for the monster to trigger the pump seat staff. Well, it won't really trigger. Look, take a look at it. So remove 50% of stamina, and that's it. Pump seat staff didn't even kick in. The pump seat staff didn't kick in. You know why? Because it's a bolt to deal damage. So that pump seat staff. I mean. With the AoE 50% uh, removal skill, doesn't really work to be honest. 
Maybe you can run a different staff um, aside from Pump Seed. Let me see. What else is there? So you have... Uh... Oh, you can do the AoE cooldown scale. So you're applying cooldown and you're also removing 50% of stamina. And they also have the uh, stamina leak in them, right? Hopefully there isn't a Megaton. But if there is a Megaton, then... Then it is what it is. But if there isn't a Megaton, you have that stamina leak um, on everybody applied, right? So let me see what I could do here. I'll just go ahead and use this. Pump seat's gonna kick in. Yep, and it's only one use. <laughs> so yeah. All right. Well, you removed my tank. What are you gonna do? Blind me. All right. We'll just do punch of the shark king. Get rid of you. Removes 100% of stamina, sure. Let's do that. So you remove 100% of stamina, you get the extra turn. And then right after the extra turn, you could, I guess, go with like CDA or something. And now they're hit with CDA. Oh, we got Brownout. Okay. So Brownout, massive thunder damage once again to all enemies, applies shock, and also activates all cooldowns. So the thing is, the good thing here is that shock, right? This is an extra turn of monster, so that will prevent him from basically using his um, extra turn skills. So we could quite quickly, you know, do that. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Charge up. So let's say that monster had stam some stamina right there, right? If you tried using his um, extra turn skill, he could have landed it, but it's just that you won't really get that extra turn there because of that. Um, removes 50% uh, of stamina. We could do that. Sure. So remove 50% of stamina again. Shock is still there. And sure, we'll just do something like this. And I'll probably end up winning this battle, so I'll just charge up. Or, leave the battle, sorry. Alright, so Oblation Staff, when hitting, removes 77 points of stamina from targets. So instead of uh, using the Pump Seed Staff, I guess you can run Oblation Staff. With the AoE skill, it should actually do the job. Hopefully we won't face a Mega Taunt. This is actually a good base. So take a look at this. The monster goes in first. Um, Pump Seed Staff, it doesn't really remove that 50%. On top of that, you know what I mean? Or however percent it is. Uh, but the Oblation Staff actually does. Because for Pump Seed Staff to work, you need to actually damage the enemies. This skill right here doesn't really damage them. So take a look at this. Remove 50% of stamina. And then that other um, relic is going to kick in right here. Go ahead. Oblation Staff kick in. Oh wait, what the heck? When hitting, remove 77 points of stamina from targets. What? I'm so confused right now. Someone please explain how that relic works. Like, is this monster supposed to... Hmm, there's one way to find out. Hold on. There is one way to find out. So let me go ahead and let them go in. Okay, my mega's on side. Alright, so... If I went, for example, with this skill, which actually deals damage, I'm guessing it's going to kick in now, because it actually deals damage. Oblation staff kicked in. So it's kind of like Pump Seat Staff. I thought it would just kick in if you do a um, skill that doesn't deal any damage. So I guess it only works when um, you're dealing some damage, which makes sense. Okay, so I guess it is what it is. Uh, pump Seed Staff, I'd say, is better, so you can run Pump Seed Staff instead. Uh, we don't really need to use that. I'll go with this for fun. What are you going to do? Recharge? Removes 50% of stamina, so you can continue draining their stamina, which is actually pretty good. Um, and then your attacker could continue doing uh, his job, you know, dealing the damage over and over again. Because look, you, you can remove, like, continue spamming your um, stamina removal skill every other two turns or so. It's actually pretty good. Okay, because this one right here, once you remove 100% stamina, it gets you an extra turn. Later on, you can use the overhead conductor, remove another 50% stamina, which they'll have to charge up for, right? And then you can continue using the cascade failures and um, continue removing that stamina from the enemy. So this is what I mean right here. So look, now that's my turn. 100% stamina removal again, give me an extra turn. Now I could, for example, hit them with either CDA or I could go with uh, the 50% stamina removal. Um, and basically, my attacker could do his job by continuing attacking. But look, 120% or 120 stamina, right? I could use either the overhead conductor or the cascading failures. So it's not a bad monster, okay? it's uh, He's 
she, she's doing her job as um as a stamina drainer okay so not so bad not so bad but anyways we're gonna go ahead and quickly rank this monster up to rank four level 140 for those of you that are gonna get to level 140 here are the stats and now finally at rank five final rank this is it right here this is level 150 i might be the first person to actually get it to level 150 <laughs> but anyways so these are the stats you get about 196k life kind of low uh 17,472 power and 10,192 speed which is actually a great speed let's go on and take it to pvp again uh we're gonna fight with the same exact team and let's see how this goes oh maybe someone else other than that let's fight someone else please oh my gosh i guess everybody's just doing that for the race maybe that's why we're gonna go ahead and give back the pump seat staff and we're gonna fight all right please give me a decent base thank you all right so vampire astral Lin Warman, or all level 150s I take the first turn. What could I really do here? I could hit them with CDA. This monster won't get hit with CDA though. I could apply that shock to Nor and the other monster. Since Vampira is going before um, Linworm, right? So if she ends up using any of her extra turn skills, well... Oh, she went with singing for you. Okay. What are you going to do now? Um, hit me with... Uh, Baby reversion, huh? Age over, age over here. Time scourge? What the heck? AIs are actually kind of dumb. Let's go with Orange Blast. Unfortunately, I can't cleanse anything once again. The monster can't really cleanse anything, which kind of sucks. We're just going to go with, for example, the system here. The system skill. And uh, that actually... Pumpsy Staff kicked in and removed some stamina. And there is stamina leak on top of that right there. And also the monsters are hit with TDA, so... <laughs> Yikes. And Atlantis kicked in. Age Overseer. Oh man. There it is. There is a skill. I might actually end up losing this. Yeah. That time courage, man. Maybe if I had like Bombetta instead of uh, my other Megatons, I could have went ahead and used a clan skill and gotten rid of the time courage. But you know, it is what it is. Let's do fast as a shark, get rid of you. And the other two are still alive. Shark monster I don't know is just down to Um Rody. What could you really do? The AoE skill just removes stamina, this one removes stamina, and this one just applies CDA. Nothing to actually cleanse with. Uh, that's the thing, that that, that kind of sucks uh, with this monster. I really wish that she was able to cleanse stuff but unfortunately not see with this space right here i can't really do much i really can't i have to rely on this guy on this base because if he can't one tap or just remove that bomb beta right away altogether then i can't really do much because this monster is a denier i mean all this monster does is remove stamina and it's with cda and stuff so it's kind of like What's that monster name? Gaidigo with uh Gaidigo with the fish monster. I forgot his name. They're basically mixed together. I really forgot his name, man. Um what was his name? The fish monster. I really don't remember. I literally use use him like almost every time on my attack team. I forgot his name. I'll just check right after this battle. Alright. So, we'll just use a single target skill to get rid of you. The Reaper. And Spatian kicked in. We're just gonna charge up. Singer for you. Okay. Now that it's my turn, I could go ahead and hit you guys with CDA. That'll prevent you from attacking, except that you're running a zero cooldown skill so yeah cooldown skills when they're when they have zero cooldown skills they could still attack unfortunately um but anyways orange blast you'll end up dying oh cool we just finished it off with uh, laser beam sword i could go ahead and remove 100 stamina 
that'll trigger the inspiration. But unfortunately, he didn't have that. But I came back. No worries. I could go ahead and remove stamina and apply shock. And since he's running a zero cooldown skill, oh wait, never mind. Yeah, you know what? Never mind. I'll just charge up here. As a shark, vulnerable, and you use your ultimate. So lucky. You are super lucky, my friend. <laughs> You're super lucky. But anyways, so um, overall, once again, the monster, I wouldn't say too broken. It's not like at the top tier list. I just wish this monster had at least one single target, uh, one single skill that actually removed positives. Because if you're gonna take the first turn with this monster, you can't really do much except from, you know, removing stamina and applying CDA. Like, what are you gonna do against a Mega Taunt? <laughs> what are you really gonna do against a Mega Taunt base? There isn't much you can do. But anyways, um, let me know your thoughts and opinions about this monster in the comments down below. But that's going to be pretty much it. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, go ahead and drop a like and subscribe with notifications on. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.